Hey guys, what's up? It's Hot Girl. Welcome to my channel where I do about student and lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in any of that, hit down below and subscribe. I hope you're having an amazing day and let's get into it. That is, wow, it's been a while since I've said that. So actually, this video was supposed to have gone up ages ago. I actually wanted to, and I filmed it ages ago. I actually wanted to upload this one in the third week of january so i could at least upload my february plan with me in the last week of january and kind of on time um, but i never got around to filming this part and now it is the first of feb so you know but yeah so today is going to be my yearly setup as well as my january plan with me if you're asking me if you're gonna ask me why i am deciding to post this despite being so off schedule it's just because i wanted to have that sort of completeness this year to my bullet journal setups so this is my gonna be my first video of the year it is a combination of both the yearly setup as well as my january setup i'm gonna continue filming not today but maybe tomorrow for my february setup as well i need to set up my notebook but also i'm gonna finish filming the intro and outro today i actually I did my makeup this morning before going to work like i had a little bit of like i had 10 minutes extra so i did my makeup this morning and it doesn't look half bad still it's like 8 15 now p.m and i actually left at 8 15 a.m this makeup's been on for a good 12 hours just the blush has faded a little bit and obviously i've gotten a little bit oily but i think that's okay and yeah i think that's all for the starting notes the rest of anything i want to tell you guys is going to be in the voiceover so keep on watching i guess okay so to begin with i decided to set up my january setup obviously so this is the new journal i got it from notebook therapy and i think notebook therapy works really great for me just because it's faux leather and it's not linen linen really catches the dust a lot which gets really irritating for me and i think in general for everybody and you're actually gonna see my face a lot like just poking in the side of the video just because i wasn't quite used to this setup as i was filming and so i wasn't really i couldn't really gauge where the camera was filming and where kind of my head was sitting and all of that so you're just kind of have to you're kind of gonna have to bear with it i'm so sorry i fix it by the time we hit the january part of this setup but for now you're just gonna have to bear with it for like the first half of the video the next spread obviously is the grid spacing guide which i think amanda h lee was really great about coming up with to be honest but yeah i use it a lot maybe way too much and the kind of the numbers are basically in my head now and i don't i just keep doing it just in case i need to refer back to it in terms of some of them for example i don't always remember that i to split it in four it needs to be nine spaces so you know just small things like that and i'm doing it in different colors as always just to keep a track of what each color means and what's going on the page next to it is going to be the year at a glance and i'm just using my yearly stamps which i go back and forth between the year and the year at a glance and the future log now that i have that covered how's everyone doing how's it going guys for me um last year was really busy i covered that in my last video if you haven't watched it go back and watch it and it explains more of why i wasn't around why i wasn't filming what was going on in my life I'm trying to fix that right now. I spent the last six months basically just completely exhausted, to be honest with you, and taking no time for myself. It's, you know, it's been a very hard six months, actually, because I've been doing four days of an internship, two days of, you know, part time job. And because of that, I just haven't had the time even to sleep well, which is just, you know, like I need that. I think everybody needs and I know I'm maybe talking and coming at this from a very privileged position where I can say, you know, I've never had to lose sleep for work, you know, but it's just been, just in general, it's been very hard even to take care of myself. I was 
really i was spending so much money on takeout as well just because i was not cooking at home and if you guys know me if you guys have been around for a while at all i really 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 love to cook i think it's you know one of the joys in my life and if i'm not doing that it was really concerning even for my parents so after my contract ended with my previous place my parents were like you know what try and see if you can work only one day a week in your part-time job which is what i'm trying to look for now i decided to actually take the month of january off pretty much just because i literally 2023 i was sick a lot as well so my body i think was just trying to recover from being sick from being tired from you know just to take care of myself and just to kind of reset a little bit to kind of be better this year hopefully and be healthier and you know take care of myself more and just be good to myself and kind of focus on myself a little bit as well i think that's one of the goals or resolutions for me this year which is to just take care of myself be good to myself you know including going to the gym at least twice a week at least over the weekends if not more than that definitely want to try and go more than that but to begin with i'm doing the weekends right now and it's you know i've been kind of consistent which is good and i'm trying so that's always a bonus and a plus and my mom got me all this like ready food the kind of the one where you just add water and you eat it and you boil it for a little bit and you eat it and it's ready so she got me some of that and it's been working out great in terms of my takeout problem because i still don't like i still really haven't gone back to cooking and especially with fashion week approaching i don't think i will this month either so these kind of dry foods kind of work out great for me which is nice and it's been great to kind of eat home food because all the dried food that she got me actually she made herself because my mom is amazing and she left it here for me and yeah that's what i've been kind of been eating and that's why it took me so long even to kind of finish this video just because i took most of january just to sleep and just to recover and just to feel better about i don't know being alive and life so because it, it was getting it was getting really really bad so here we are and this is going to be my first video of the year i wanted to post it a long long time ago i actually as i was sitting to edit this and kind of importing the footage into my computer i actually got scared for a second because i thought i had lost the footage of my actual yearly setup like the majority of it and i really had to scroll really back because i did actually film this yearly setup before the last year ended because i wanted to be good about it and i just i wasn't and i'm so sorry about that even though i tried to be but i'm gonna be better for you guys this year i'm gonna try and be a lot better i'm gonna try and because i mean youtube has always been kind of a hobby for me it's never really been i'm not making money off of youtube i just like doing it i think it's just fun and i think i help people with a lot of my videos so i'm gonna try and and kind of come back to it try and be better about it be better about myself about my body and so on so yeah i'm also actually gonna go in and do a couple of unboxings just because i have started pretty much collecting albums which is amazing because i i've started to like i really really fall in love with k-pop majority of this happened in 23 but i like it started the obsession in 22 i have a bit of a history with k-pop to be honest with you guys you know it, it's kind of a it's it's an ongoing thing from back in like i want to say 2016 or 2017 where someone tried to introduce me to k-pop by saying you should listen to bts and i mean bts is great i just never really resonated with their whole love yourself theme and kind of message in their music so i mean as much as i wanted to i just didn't so i tried to explore on my own i listen i started listening to eric nam back then which I, I still listen to him, I still love his music. And 
Then um, when I was exploring my own, I liked GOT7 and I kind of liked Stray Kids. Even like these guys had just debuted back then. This is like 2018, 2019 time. And they were still in their IMU era, which is, you know, oh my God, so long ago. But then I went through a phase um, where I just didn't, you know, listen to any K-pop at all. I was trying to be alternative and I was like, I'm not going to listen to K-pop. Everybody's listening to K-pop. It's not my thing. And so I didn't. And now in 2022, I got back to listening to Stray Kids just because of Felix. (laughs) And now we're on to my January setup, as you can see. I actually, I had a drawing. I have a drawing that I do do later on. But I do it off camera just because I wasn't really confident in what I was doing and in my kind of plan and idea. And so while I wanted to do like a full on painting, I just didn't just because I was just not feeling it. And I I just didn't feel confident in myself and my current illustration and drawing skills to actually do that. You're going to see this is going to be a very, very quick setup. Even the raw footage was less than half an hour, which is, you know, that's new. I most of the decoration is literally just washi tape. And I did most of the, yeah, I, I mean the decorating. I did it off camera. So you're really not going to see it. And actually, as much as I set it up, I didn't actually use my bullet journal in January, which is a shame because I'm trying to be good about that as well. Because I've realized what I said before as to why I bullet journal about like using it to keep myself motivated and actually, you know, doing things in the day and not kind of falling off is very, very true. But because my days are like at least the last six months and even this month, my days were so set in stone. You're going to work four days a week, you're going to come back and then you're just going to eat food and sleep. Like it's just, I've just not been doing much at all during the week and... You know, I was like, why do I need a bullet journal for three days? You know, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it in my, write in my notes app and tick it off. But like the bullet journal is my notes app. If I'm going to tick it off anyway, I should, I should do it in the bullet journal, which I'm going to try and do starting February because February is fashion week. It's going to get really, really insane for at least the first two weeks for me, which is, you know, we're trying to avoid going absolutely crazy so that's what it is and i didn't use it much but i plan to be a lot better about it and that's the last spread of january which is obviously the setup for the first week or i think this one was like the second week or something i didn't even put the dates in because i was like i don't know when i'm gonna use it see that's like ah, i did put the dates in huh It was the second week of January or third week. I don't even know. But it was not the first week. (laughs) And this is going up in the first week of February. Which actually isn't it like the second. Ah, one and a half weeks. Okay. Give me some, cut me some slack. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, I've added some washi tape. And this is the final flip through. And you're going to see... I did, I did the kind of the drawing just with some pens and some straight lines, honestly. Like I said, I wasn't really feeling too confident. And so I didn't even put in too much effort. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. So that was that. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys liked the setup. I wasn't super confident. I'm sure I mentioned it in the voiceover at some point. But I wasn't super confident doing the painting for the January setup. So that's why I just stuck to pens. I'm going to try to keep getting more and more artistic as we go through the year. As I'm going through this this placement year of mine from uni, I have realized I'm, I've kind of lost touch with like illustration just because when you're working in like a smallish brand, you're mainly working with kind of fabric and running all the errands and this and that. When you're working in a big, big, relatively big brand like I am now, I'm once again in the sample room for our development team and I wanted to be there, don't get me wrong. Like this is my goal 
I this year I wanted to improve my hand cutting but I have kind of lost touch with my illustration stuff so I actually need to I feel like before the end of the year I want to actually do my research and kind of come up and draw a new collection just from scratch just as like a personal project maybe I'll do it in the summer I don't know just to get back in touch with kind of my the design part of my brain and but you know that's irrelevant to this so i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit down below and subscribe leave a like on the video and let me know anything you want me to know in the comments and yeah it was nice to start again and i hope i keep this going so yeah bye